Good morning, YouTubers. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I wasn't planning on dropping a video today. I've been very busy on some project and I haven't been able to do a lot of videos the last couple of weeks, but I wanted to address something that just came up. Basically, the banning off of Patreon of uh, Sarkhan of Akka, James Alsop, and recently also Milo. And I just wanted to lay out the, the legal landscape in which this whole thing operates. When the lights are out and you stumble in the dark Regardless of whether or not you agree with what uh, Patreon has done or not, and there are people on both sides, and I can appreciate uh, different opinions, is that Patreon, as any other company, is absolutely legally permitted to do what they have done. Section 230 was designed by Congress specifically for this. Now, Congress may not have foreseen where this would have gone, but back in 1996, when they passed it, they wanted those platforms to be able to be the police to create more family-friendly kind of atmospheres. As a result, they passed this law specifically to enable such action. Now you have to put everything in perspective here because in 1996, you had Bill Clinton as the president and you had the Republican controlled House and Senate. So this was very much a bipartisan law. And the reason why they decided that the corporations were the best one to handle this is because they learned that the Supreme Court would not allow the government to make those kind of determinations. You see, it's a violation of free speech for the government to make determination of what should be permitted or not permitted online. So they basically devolved and allow the corporations to do it as a way of bypassing the idea that they themselves can do it. Now, having said corporations such as Patreon, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook are permitted to demonetize people, to ban people, to derank people and their uh, posts and videos, it's not the same as saying that I advise them to do that. I think it's a mistake over time. I think corporations should be in the business of promoting free speech and rather than making decisions on our behalf, exactly what we should be watching or not watching, they should empower us to actually make those decisions. You have to understand that all these platforms live and die by the stream. Basically, they want to control the algorithm that shows you what video, what post, what picture you see first, second, or third. It's not necessarily chronological because they know that the longer you stay on their platform, the more money they make. So they want to be in control of that stream. I believe the right approach should be to empower the viewer to have control because while you have a right to speak, I don't necessarily have the obligation to listen to you. So allow me as a viewer to make decisions who I want to listen to and who I don't want to. So people's next question is always, what is the solution? Well, let me start by telling you what is not the solution. The, the one that I believe will not work is trying to force a legal solution on what is otherwise a free speech issue here because people believe that the problem here is that you have section 230 which provides legal coverage for these platforms to actually make those kind of discriminatory decisions allow them to monetize or demonetize any particular video allows them to ban a specific video or a specific channel allows them to actually change the ranking of any specific video or post or picture within their stream i believe that that's not your problem even if tomorrow you got rid of section 230 you still don't don't have liability. People propose the idea is get rid of Section 230. At that point, you pass a new law that somehow says that you either are neutral in your decisions of what you permit on your platform or you face liability for what actually is on your platforms. There's a lot of reasons why that will not work, least of which is the judicial system here. The courts have already opined on many of those ideas because a lot of the legal cover that these platforms has is not necessarily rooted in Section 230. A lot of time it's rooted in, in free speech because the Supreme Court has already ruled that these platforms, when they make decisions, on how to monetize or demonetize, how to rank or derank videos, whether or not to allow anybody on their platform, that's their own expression of free speech. So even if tomorrow you got rid of Section 230, even if tomorrow you passed a new law that says that a lack of neutrality is somehow a violation of the law in whatever form you do it, whether or not you say it's an actual violation of the law or you say, you know what, at that point you're liable for whatever content is posted on, the likely response by the court is that that will be an unconstitutional law. And I understand that many people say, well, why is that free speech? I mean, these are just corporations. Well, because if you follow the last 200 years of American legal system, you'd realize that corporations pretty much have identical rights when it comes to free speech and free expression as individuals. There's very, very few things that corporations don't have, like the right to vote. But other than that, they pretty much are equal in their rights under the First Amendment. So 
Is there a solution? Well, it's probably not going to be a legal solution. It's going to be the kind of solution that we've always had, that always is encouraged, which is we speak. We utilize our First Amendment right to tell the platforms what we like. We follow, if not on one platform, we follow on another, the people we want to listen to. And it's the way we behave. It's the way we speak. It's the way that we express ourselves that leads this platform to realize what their audience actually wants. No, it's not going to be very quick, but you have to realize that every single time you send out that tweet, every single time you upload a video, every single time you actually make that post on Facebook, the platforms listen. And it doesn't take that much time to actually make an enormous change. Really, what has happened over the last couple of years happened really, really quickly as a few platforms decided that they have to control the algorithm in order to create a community. And as a result, everybody else followed along. It won't take that much effort if a single platform or a couple of them decided, you know what, let's change it rather than control the algorithm of the stream, actually enable more and more free speech and let the user control what they actually see, what they read, what they view. Maybe that can actually work. So no, while it's not a very quick uh, resolution. It's also one that is actually likely to work because what's happening here is market forces here. The legal system cannot come, at least not in the United States, and actually control what company say or don't say. The Supreme Court has already told us that. On the other hand, if you put economics into it and you show the corporation that they can make money by enabling its viewers to see as much as they want to or as little as they want to, that would work and that would actually stick. Anyway, that's my little uh, rant of the day. If you have any questions, any concerns, Anything you want to discuss, just leave them down below. I'd love to talk to you. I'll see you next time. When the lights are out and you stumble in the dark, you kept pushing on, but then you went too far. When your ship has sailed and all your dreams are lost, everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault.